Alright, what is going on everybody? Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Mike Hoffman trade that went down this morning. It was a double trade. He got traded first to San Jose and then got dealt to Florida. What I've gone and done today is I'm going to go into a franchise mode and I'm going to start off as the San Jose Sharks just because they're the middle team in this whole trade. If I were to go to Ottawa, I wouldn't be able to make the San Jose Florida deal. If I were to go to Florida, I wouldn't be able to make the Ottawa San Jose deal. So going with San Jose allows me to make both deals in the same franchise mode. So we're going to go into it here. Right away, I'm going to do the trade. I tried doing it at the end of the season. Uh, I like I tried simming through a franchise mode once and then going to the end of the season, and it just didn't work out. Um, Bodker actually got traded in one of the franchise modes that I tried, so, I mean, that just kind of ruins the whole thing. So, um, I've just decided to do it right off the bat here and try it out. So, we're going to go into it right now and see what the trade comes out to be. Is Ottawa going to accept is Florida going to accept? We'll have to see. If not, I'm going to have to make some changes to the trade and just to try and get the players to the proper teams in order to make the second trade. But we will see here. We'll go into the trade here and uh, take a look at it. All right, so proposed trade. We got San Jose here. Let's go over and get to Ottawa's team and try and add... The players to the trade so I had to go in and manually add them to the roster because Bergman and Donahue aren't actually on the team so I had to go and do that in free agent or not free agent in roster moves outside of franchise mode Donahue's right here we'll add him here into it and now we're just looking for the last pick which is going to be a fifth round pick in 2020 now that was the um the Ottawa side now we're going to go over to the San Jose side and pick the Sixth round pick in 2020, and then also add Mikhail Bodker, and we're going to add Julius Bergman as well. Mikhail Bodker being right there. Bergman is three spots below him. And then uh, see if this trade goes through. I don't think it will, because looking at the trade value right now, it's pretty it's pretty different. Uh, we'll see. No. Okay, so trade rejected. Now, in order to get Hoffman on the San Jose Sharks, I'm going to have to add some players to this trade. So we'll have to see here. I think I'm just going to add Vlasic to just boost the trade value and then add some random player on Ottawa because essentially all I want to do is get Hoffman on to San Jose now at this point because the trade's not going through. I still need Hoffman for the second trade. So this will go through for sure. We'll do that. Hoffman's now on San Jose along with the other like the other the the other stuff in the trade is also on there as well. But uh, now we're gonna go over to Florida here and um, hopefully this one goes through actually here. We need to add a fourth and a fifth round pick in 2018 and then the second round pick in 2019 for Florida there. And then for the San Jose pick, it is a seventh round pick in 2018. And also Mike Hoffman, of course. And I think this will go through. Despite the trade value, yeah, there we go. So the, this trade went through despite the value being a little bit wonky, but that's basically going to be it for the video, taking a look at Mike Hoffman's deal. Now I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. Uh, Hoffman obviously traded because of his little scandal with his girlfriend and Carlson's wife, and I think they're married actually, but um, that definitely degraded his trade value, and you see, we've seen that in these trades that have gone down for the past couple of days, and it also seems like teams don't really want him. San Jose literally just shipped him off to Florida the instant he got traded to their team. Maybe San Jose is making room for John Tavares. Who knows? They got a lot of picks out of the deal, which is very good for them. San Jose has definitely made some crazy moves in the past uh, couple years here, so they're definitely a team to look at next year to see if they're going to be any good. Now, for Mike Hoffman, it kind of sucks. I, li I like him as a player a lot, but um, he just got some issues off ice with his girlfriend or whatever, and stuff happens, and the reason why he's found himself in this position is just poor judgment by him and his girlfriend. I haven't really looked into the whole story, so I'm not really sure if, if he has anything to do with it. I'm sure he's probably backing up his girlfriend because they are in a relationship, which is kind of whatever. Uh, I'm not going to get too much into that. I just wanted to take a look at this trade and uh, see if it would actually go through in HO18. Funny because I thought that the Ottawa trade was a little bit better than the Florida trade, but NHL seemed to think otherwise, and uh, we saw it there today. That's going to be it for the video. If you guys did enjoy this one, you want to see more, make sure to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button if you are new on here. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video, and I will see you in the next video.